What's going on, kindly viewers? Welcome to a Morbid Message Monday. The show that is brought to you by Matt and Jake about creepy things throughout history. Today's theme is going to be freak accidents. Was a woman crushed by an escalator in the way that we all fear? Yes. Was a man harpooned through his face in Brazil? Yes, he was. And was a Dordarshan anchor crushed under a tree? Well, you're just going to have to sit there and find out because this is Morbid Message Monday. Brought to you by Tech Mess. You guys think? Is that solid? Yeah, that's solid. That works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, it'll get better in time, you know, over time, but... I'm feeling we'll it. We'll write something for it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come up with something. Anyway, my name is Jake, and my co-host here is Matt. My Matt's name is Matt. Introduce yourself. Yeah, his name's Matt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm Matt. And this is for the people listening to the podcast, because you might not know who the fuck we are. And if mm -hmm. you found it by some happenstance, like, let's go. We're also going to be uploading these to YouTube, which I'm definitely excited about. So, let's talk about escalators matt <laughs> let me ask you a question when you were younger did did your parents tell you like hey if your shoes untied on an escalator it's gonna suck you in oh yeah yeah no it was always mm -hmm. um because when i was younger i would take my shoe and like shove it into the side of the escalator and use the brush to like falsely polish my shoe give <laughs> me fucking so, too oh, yeah. i thought i would always do that especially if i was wearing white <laughs> shoes I'm like, I wish I had polish. Yeah, I mean, I was always told, like, you're going to lose your foot. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, dude, my parents, I'm looking at you, Dad, you're here, would tell me, you will get sucked in and never come out, okay? And th this, this is a setup for what's gonna, what is going to be told to you right now. But yes, like, the whole thing was you're going to get sucked in and, th and never come out. You'll die, like, crushed right. by the escalator. Well, death. you know, now that we're older, we know that that's not true, right? Obviously. That's not something that's going to happen. That's okay. I mean, it, it absolutely made me want to keep my shoes tied, so I guess mission accomplished, right? Yeah, no, for sure. This woman lived my nightmare. Well, I don't want to say lived because she... Mm. So this is again from the Decan Chronicle. In July 2015... There was heartbreaking footage of a mother being sucked into an escalator that gave way and went viral on the internet. Child was dragged away by an attendant. He saw his mother get pulled into the shaft to her death. To her death. Ah. Now there's footage here. And I mean, it is... Whew. It's brutal. So I don't know if I want to show it because I'm pretty sure that can get us in a little troll. Yeah, um, let's not lose our... Yeah, let's not yeah, lose, we don't our, lose our streaming either. privileges. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, this is really like what I'm afraid of with escalators. Like, I... Unlike most people, I actually like running down them up those... Yep. I run up and down those shits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get up the escalator as fast as I can because I... You know, okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yes, that's how I felt. Guess we, guess we should turn those off for the podcast portion, huh? Yeah, fuck it, they're fun. And people listening okay. crash their cars. Uh, <laughs> freak accidents. Caused by techness. Caused by techness. But yes, um, do you remember seeing the green light below an escalator? Yes, yeah. I, I had this vision that like escalating, like, again, I was a kid. Right, but I had like a vision right. that there was like this whole underworld <laughs> below an escalator. Like it would suck me in, but then I'm like in this weird like matrix like underworld machine. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm it's becoming it. a it's part it. of the machine. Yeah, man. So yeah, guys, it's that because I remember seeing this video on the news. See, I don't remember seeing it. I saw this earlier. I was like, "Ooh, fuck!" So yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. But yeah, so that was, is, again, it's, my, it's one of my nightmares come to life because I don't right. want to get sucked into the escalator, man. Like I didn't, I know no. now that that shit's not real, but I tell my son the same thing because right. tie your fucking shoes. You know what I mean? Like, come on. It's just, come on now. It's just tie your damn shoes. It's what, just tie your shoes. You know, 
You don't want to get mm-hmm. sucked down. She. This wasn't because. And real quick, just to preface, <laughs> this is not her getting sucked down because her shoes were untied. The fucking no. elevator, like escalator, the collapsed. Panel collapsed. Yeah. Yeah. The panel collapsed, and she got sucked in, and it was uh, just a really bad situation. Crushed to death. Brutal. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my shoes are Velcro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. But we have to laugh at some of the worst things in order to get through mm-hmm. it. I think that yeah. I think that there's there's comedy and tragedy, right? Yes, there always has been. Sometimes. There always will be, and that's Sometimes. that is what it is. You know, live your life. <laughs> Just yeah. yeah. So <laughs> live your life. Tie your shoes. Don't use live your life. Tie your shoes. Don't go on the fucking that's, escalator. That is Just take the stairs. Tip. Take the stairs. Maybe it's good I think for that's. You. I think that's good. If you, you go know? to the Cottonwood Mall in New Mexico, you got to do it. You got to take the stairs anyway because they're never working. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, the escalators are always down. Take the elevator, I guess, if you're some sort of fucking ancient monster. But no, if you want to die, you take that elevator. You escalator, or or are you saying elevator? Elevator at Cottonwood. Oh, Nightmare. okay. Oh, yeah. Matt, bring us in. On I feel like, I feel like some... we need some sort of like transition number two. Actually, Mumbai you're right. I, no, I, I, I love this. Okay. <clears throat> we're, fuck, I didn't say number one. Okay, we're going to have it. You didn't. That's number okay. two. Mumbai Airport Mishap. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> number two. Mumbai Airport <laughs> Mishap. Well, yeah, that I'm mixing so up. I thought you were like Mumbai Mareport. I was going to <clears throat> talk about a lawsuit. Someone by all figuring own. this out live. Doing stuff probably be great on the podcast. Okay, <clears throat> number two, Mumbai Airport mishap. In December of 2015, the blood-curdling story of a man dying after being sucked into a jet engine. I'm always afraid I'm going to see this someday. At Mumbai Airport shocked everyone. The man standing next to the A319 aircraft was a maintenance crew member for Air India and fell victim to the mishap. When it was being reversed, the pilot misinterpreted a signal and switched on the engine while the man in his 40s was too close to it. And I get, like, ooh. Ooh. That's a nice. What? What are you doing? I, I couldn't, like, I can't, right? Like, this is something. Work. I oh, have that same fear. Jet engine? Yeah, yeah, getting sucked no, in. I, I have joking? a horrible fear that I'm going to see that because, like, it's funny because, like, I never thought about it until I saw the show Lost. Oh, and okay. The, their very first pilot episode, the captain gets sucked into the jet engine. And I just can't imagine how god awfully horrible. That whole experience, I mean, it would be over very quickly. But oh my God. I mean, what were your last thoughts? You know what I mean? Like, I'm flying. Right. <laughs> Just <laughs> oh, kidding. Fu- <laughs> Roasted, dude. Um, no, we're not roasting a dead man. Yeah. No. I mean, the plane did that uh, for us. Yeah, it says here the man standing next to the A319 aircraft. Oh, you read that part, probably. Uh, yeah. yeah, I had my yeah, headphones he, off uh, and I was running around. Yeah, screaming. you were you were busy like having a <laughs> breakdown. Conniption. <laughs> it just sounds so awful, but, dude. Uh, like I feel it in yeah, my no, back no, right no. now. I mean, yeah. Well, it's like being sucked into a giant blender with very tiny blades and hundreds of pounds of force. You know what I want for? You know what makes for a good breakfast? Human smoothie. Sheesh. Um. It does. This is your it's captain done. speaking. This is your captain speaking. We just had a man fly in to the jet engine. We're not taking Bloody off. Bloody Marys are on Spirit Airlines today. Wow. We're going to get banned from Twitch. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're pushing the limits here. We're pushing the limits of Twitch. You know, you know Matt and Jake. We're, we're, real, we're real boundary pushers on this we platform. We're the James Camerons and the Steven Spielbergs of Twitch. No, I was just Pushing about to bring up limit. Lost. Yes. Pushing yes, the limits. It's, it's exactly what it is. It's Lost. Yeah, 100%. And Lost ended terribly. Spoiler alert, it it's not worth it. it, it um, it's not. It's so fast, though, I doubt they would even know what's happening. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, what would the last thoughts be? You know what I mean? Well, would you, that was what, that's what you would hope. You would hope that you wouldn't be, like, in 
during that. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Disgust. Disgusting. Yeah, just horrific. Just blended. Just bl- it's a ninja blender for your whole body. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> mm. Well, speaking of ninja blender for your whole body, this is number three. Brazilian fisherman harpooned. Mmm. While many freak accidents result in chilling deaths of individuals involved, a man from Brazil, yeah, a man from, yeah, a man from Brazil was lucky enough to survive from an incident which left him in a terrifying position. During a fishing trip in January 2017, the 27-year-old ended up with a three-foot spear piercing right through his face. Right through it! The man was saved by inches as the shaft could have led to serious injuries including death. See, I wrote that myself. I, I did a little, a little, a little fix. That's got to be like the worst clogged nose ever. Oh, dude. I, it, it went through his fucking, like, like it looks like it went through his goddamn, like, ears. It so it's like right here. going through his sinuses. Yeah, it's going it's, yeah, through it's his like, sinus cavities. Like right fucking here. Oh, can you even? I can't. Can you can't even imagine, imagine that, right now? No. Like disgusting. Awful. Well, how the hell? How the hell do you even go about pulling that out? Who, well, who the fuck is just firing off these harpoons? Like, <laughs> like oh, well, there's a fish over there. I'm going to try to get Oh, sorry. I shot you it's through the face. Dick like, how did, this, how did this end? You know what I mean? Is this guy... I mean, this guy's got permanent injuries for sure. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, mean the he doesn't look alone. like the kind who's into piercings either. So it's like... I don't just know. Puts man. gauges on either side of his head. <laughs> he know. just starts gauging. Just... <laughs> this is bad. Why are we laughing at this? <laughs> because there is comedy in tragedy. There is, and there's We're tragedy in comedy, man. How many yeah, comedians do you just... know that aren't oh. depressed? Be real with yourself. It's very true. No, it's very true. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Listen, I just we're, keep we're at here. This we're... Like, How the fuck did they pull that out? We're here, Shooter's Gallery, pushing the boundaries, okay? Because that's what we do here at Tech Mess. We push the boundaries yeah. since starting now. Start, since starting now. Since now we're going to start pushing start, them. Yeah, we're going to start pushing them. But yeah, Brazilian Fisherman was harpooned. That is just something that I just don't want to fucking ever have to deal with mm-hmm. in my life, to be honest with you. No. It's pretty, pretty brutal looking. And pulling that shit out. Ha, ha. It's like giving me a headache, even, like thinking about it. It is. It, there's a portion of my neck that is like starting to pulse. And Dude, I'm like going right to stop here. looking at that picture like I'm now. Sta- I'm starting to feel it right here too. And it's like, it's not through here because he'd be dead. But I'm, like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done thinking about that. All right. All right. Number four. X Dordarshan anchor crushed under a tree. There's nothing... Wrong about a morning walk at the start of a windy day. But things can quickly take a tragic turn when we least anticipate it. This is what happened to a former Dor- Darshan presented Hanshin Nath who was crushed to death when a coconut tree, a coconut tree, crashed down on her. Her husband blamed it on BMC for their negligence since the civic body ignored requests from locals to cut down the tree for several months. Damn. I'm not going to lie. I keep trying to read that as door dasher. And it's, <laughs> Dude, it's me too. It freaked brain. me the fuck out. It honestly yeah, freaked me out when yes. I saw that earlier. I was like, nope, I ain't getting crushed by a tree, man. It's not, it's, it's not too un common though that you see people crushed by trees or like there was one dude who was killed by a pine cone that fell out of a tree i mean the pine cone is like the size of a bowling ball but uh yeah. trees are fucking deadly uh even here in no, new mexico no. one of the cottonwoods at our zoo broke and landed on a lady and almost killed her yep so it, the you know what yeah. the the message of this of this tale is don't trust any trees just cut them all down, the right? Deforestation is like cottonwood. Yeah. I'm just joking. Just kidding. <clears throat> well, first of all, do you have anything else that you wanted to say about the Dordarshan? No, fuck trees. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them all. Burn them to the ground. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, my God. We love I am trees on board on with channel. loving trees here. Yeah, we're... And that's going to be evident in September. 
Sure is. Yeah. Wink, wink. Number. <clears throat> you said wink, wink. You fuck. You threw me off so bad just now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wink, wink. Number five. <clears throat> Hold on. Clear the throat. <sighs> Number five. Fitness trainer hit by whipped cream canister. <laughs> Uh, again, there's comedy and tragedy here, people. Rebecca Berger. How <laughs> I gotta have the last name Berger. Rebecca Berger had 156,000 followers on Instagram for being in perfect shape and living a healthy lifestyle. But the 33-year-old lost her life to an unexpected incident which involved a defective cream dispenser exploding and hitting her in the chest. The fitness trainer who inspired thousands with her tips died of cardiac arrest despite getting medical attention. Fuck! Wow. Fuck! That's, Good I Lord, mean, man. fuck! Awful. Oh. I mean, I feel horrible. I'm sorry, but like, like, I'm sorry for laughing because Rebecca Berger, like, <sighs> rest in peace for sure. But, God damn. I'm never buying, I'm never buying whipped cream again. I know, you never buy whipped cream again. You're a cool whip all day, die. every day. Never again. <laughs> scoop it. I scoop it. I scoop I that gonna... shit. I throw it in the freezer. I scoop it. I put it in. That's it. The end. Maybe <laughs> that's, that's the that's way all. it's got to be, man. Maybe that's the way it's got to be. Jesus Christ. Fuck, dude. How does that? I mean, you die of cardiac arrest and you're a well, fucking just one fitness of those too, is like, enthusiast. For me, maybe. it always, yeah, for me, it always goes down to like, that's got to be so weird to tell people how you died. Oh, 100%. She was 100%. killed by a whipped cream dispenser. It's just as weird as saying she was killed by a tire. This has been Morbid Message Monday, uploaded every Tuesday. My name is Jake. My name is Matt. Thank you for listening, kindly viewer. And let me just leave you with a little nugget. There is comedy and tragedy. Listen, we understand that these things are inherently not funny, right? And, and if it's offensive to you, I apologize. Now, I feel that people handle tragedies in different ways. You, you see you know, something horrific happened and you can do a couple things. There's fight, flight, and then just laugh. I, and I'm not even joking about this. I feel like that is a totally reasonable response and you shouldn't feel bad I agree. for yeah. having that. Now, if you're some douchebag who is just like 100% mocking the death of somebody, like, fuck you, you're a dick. But this isn't what we're doing is what I'm trying to get across. And we're going to be doing this every Monday. We're going to do Morbid Message Monday. This week was freak accidents. Next week, we're going to think of something. I, I I, don't know. I kind of want to like do lists like this again. You know what I mean? We kind of like the natural disaster one you sent me. I think that would be a, or not the natural disaster, but the disaster like the industrial ones. Industrial disaster ones? I'm thinking okay. industrial disasters for next week. Next week, industrial disasters. Guys, thank yeah. you so much for joining us for today's episode of morbid message monday y'all know what time it is uh, i'm shit we need like an outro what do we say we do we don't have have one. a great day or night or whatever it happens to be that you're having kindly viewer you're sure. supposed to say something like we'll see you next time fuck we'll see dude. you next time <laughs> okay let's try it again have a great day or night or whatever it happens to be that you're having kindly viewer We'll see you next time.